Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make Pepe Locos and a delicious strawberry uh, Mexican street snack. So if you guys want to learn how to make these awesome and popular Mexican street snacks, please keep watching because these noodles are hot fire. All right, friends, I already showed you how to make the chamoy. I, you can make it super thin, like I have in my bottle, or you can make it thick, okay? And one of the things that I want my keto squad out there, because you know I love you guys and I always look out for you because I know you're on that health journey, is that you can make this as sweet as you want. If you guys really want me to do it to the T, pointing out how many carbs and everything for you, please let me know in the comments. But if not, you can just adjust the ingredients from the natural sugars that we used for it and make it comfortable for your home, okay? But this is the one that I made and it's sweet. <laughs> All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your bowl of your thick chamoy or whatever. If you don't wanna make it, you can buy it. Dip your strawberries really well, just like that. And I'm just gonna start setting them on the side of my plate. Dip and give a little spin. Place your strawberries like that. And if you guys really want, like you're missing um, your ice creams or your ice treats, put these, put these in the freezer overnight. You know, I'm a foodie and I wanna eat everything, so I pretty much make a lot of recipes comfortable for my home and for my cravings or whatever I'm going through at the, at the time because this year I plan on consuming wonderful holiday treats. This year's gone really fast and you know, I just can't resist when they put the cookies out on trays. <laughs> so I'm getting healthy for cookies, guys. <laughs> okay, so once you've dipped all your strawberries into your chamoy. You wanna put this in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes just so that they can um, get nice and cold. And I'll see you guys in just a moment for our next step. All right, so once they get nice and cold, you wanna come over here and give it another dip so that you can have a really thick layer of that chamoy. If you don't want the thick layer, you can just keep it just like that. You have a loved one, boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever you love that really likes these. Put them like this in a nice, delicious box and gift it for a birthday, Valentine's Day. Mex you guys, And then you have a Mexican style edible. Yes, you do, <laughs> Mexican edibles. And you know, I don't think people understand how much Mexican women love their snacks. You know, we love them just as much as the guys do. So if you gents are trying to cheer your ladies up, Go for it. So you can use either this tajin or you can use the one that I taught you how to make. It's gonna be up to you guys. All the um, ingredients and recipes that I have for this particular recipe will be in the description area. Shout out to everybody that's sharing me on Facebook. I have a Facebook now, what's up? But I'm not really good at it. <laughs> I am not good at Facebook at all. Um, kind of creeps me out to be honest, but <laughs> I hear you guys. I hear that you only have a Facebook. All right, so we're gonna set these strawberries to the side while we prepare our Pepi Locos. If you guys don't know what Pepi Loco stands for, it's Pepino Loco, which means crazy cucumber, okay? All right, friends, I've already peeled my cucumber and I've cut it in half because if I cut it in half, it's a lot friendlier for the noodle or you're gonna get the super long, endless noodle. And as cool as it sounds, when you're eating in the process, you're like, no, I didn't eat it that long. So I'm gonna use this spiralizer that I've had for about, I wanna say, seven years. And I use this to try incorporate uh, new dishes for my son to try out and with noodles, kids are very likely to engage so let's begin to noodle our cucumbers i really like this little gadget i'm gonna have cloud link it in the description area because um it's it has a lot of variety of 
of noodles. You can make them thick. You can do curly fries with this, and it's it's very durable. I really like this one. I've tried a variety of them, um, even the handheld ones, but these this one has worked wonders for me. See that? You get this little noodle too. You just can eat that one, save it for somebody very special. For your mother-in-law, just kidding. May she rest in peace. No, I meant people in general, they can save that for the mother-in-law. Yes. Unless they like her, then give her a regular noodle. Come <laughs> noodle. All right, let's... Just, just kidding, suegritas, I know you guys are all trying. Yes. And if you are one of those suegras, change your mindset. People, you're you're adding people into your life. They're becoming part of your family. Why give them a hard time? Teach them your ways. Welcome them. You know, Bebe says, apparently I'm gonna have a Samoan, Mexican, Korean grandbabies, guys. That's what my son's been telling me. He wants to marry a strong Samoan woman. And I said, okay, I love it. He's like his Nemo. Yes. We love some more people. I agree with that. Yes. I love all people, to be honest. Well, mostly, okay? So. All right, my friends. So you're going to do um, as many cucumbers as you want. Um, depending on the ones that you choose, you get some that are like this, and then you get the ones that are the super noodly. Mm -hmm. Noodly noodles. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> Yes. Let me clear this out. I have been digging cucumbers. They have me so happy. You guys keep asking me how I'm losing my weight. I have lost about 15 pounds and they're healthy pounds. Yeah, I finally weighed myself. Did you? Yeah, I don't like the scales. It's traumatizing. And I like to see my bot, like how my body looks instead of what the scale tells me. But I've been doing cucumber water, you guys. Do it for two weeks. Um, I talked to you guys in the detox video on the Views Club. I'll link it in the description as well for you. And I tell you guys how I'm losing the weight and what I'm doing daily. And I'm still at it. Except that I'm nibbling here and there on things that I'm making now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now you want to add your chamoy. And you can add as much of this as you would like, okay? You're not going to be adding candy, you don't have to, but I'm going to be adding some of these little candies in here. Can you split them in half and then just show the texture? Mm -hmm. See what it looks like? Let me bite it. Because okay. it's a little harder. It's just fruit, tamarind, candy with a few spices. Mm, okay. If you can't have these Japanese peanuts, don't eat them, just use regular peanuts. Considering how many other horrible portions you can be having, those peanuts are the least of your worries. I'm going to be adding some tajin. Some Miguelito, because if I make this for a day, he doesn't have Miguelito, he's going to vote me off, guys. Just a little. Wait, the other one was your tajin, and this one's mm -hmm. your, oh, the, your chili powder. Okay. Yep. You know I like flavors, so now that I have two flavors, mm -hmm. mine's slightly different because it doesn't have the citric acid that you would have in this one. And this is a fresh blend, so add a little bit of both. And ta-da! We are ready to taste this, yes. All right, friends, for this recipe, you're better off using lime. It just gives it a, a delicious flavor. If you have the key limes, excellent, but I haven't been seeing them at my grocery store, so. Make sure to add some lime, citrus. My mouth is watering. Yeah, the smell of the lime and cucumber. You already know what's up, girl. Yes. 
All right, let's give this a taste, guys. I'm so ready to dig in. Fruit salad has never been this amazing, huh? Yes. Oh my goodness. If you guys love the strawberry Mexican little balls with tamarindo and chile, my mouth is water. <laughs> you guys have to try them, they're so good. Mm. Give me a second guys, cause I'm like, I'm here. Yeah, this was me when I was a little kid. Like, I just go ham on candy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, Club? Yeah, especially the tamarindo and the chamoy candies. Mm-hmm. Mm. Girl, I'm gonna tear all this up. Okay, I'm not, but. All right, friends, that's how you make Pepe Locos and your delicious Mexican-style strawberries. If you guys like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you make these slightly different, make sure to let me know down below, but. The concept's pretty similar, right? <laughs> I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! Adios! And this is how we prepare. Sorry, your tosti loco. <laughs> your little mouse. And this is how we prepare tosti locos. Oh my goodness. Mukbang days is moving on. I'm gonna come over here and share the dynamic with this delicious, healthier version. Mmm. You're not missing out on anything with this one. <laughs>